Hey guys, my name is Simsy. Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. We're playing on the Divide Et Impera submod as Rome. Now we're going to be starting a conquest against Syracuse. I currently have six full stacks here, so we've got a lot of stuff to recap. Um, let's have a look at our army builds. They've changed quite a lot. We've got our Lego 1 here with, well, in the last episode we managed to get veteran legionaries, the ability to recruit them. So, we've got um, some decent army builds, like I said. So, we've got some veteran legionaries in Lego 1 with my Emperor. We also have First Cohort. Now, I have a, a unit of First Cohort in each one of my my major armies. Now, obviously, the stats are all right compared to the, the veteran legionaries. Obviously, the veteran, legi bleh, the, veteran, <laughs> the veteran legionaries are better. But the First Cohort have 400 men and usually have one. I think, like history, I'm not entirely sure, but usually have your First Cohort uh, one, in, one per legion. So, so we've got the veteran legionaries here, one first cohort, then we've got these cataphracts, which is going to be fantastic, ballista, and we have some heavy auxiliaries as well. Now, seeing as we've conquered, if you see in the map in the bottom right, we've conquered most of Germania, Britain in the last part, I think it'd be kind of cool to have a bit of a hybrid, having these barbarians, and then we've got some tribal hunters. So, Lego 1 and Lego 2 are very much in the same boat. Uh, Lego 3... All these six uh, full stacks here have a first cohort in, but obviously we don't have the veteran uh, legionaries. Now, you might be wondering where's the Triarii. Now, I've made the decision just to upgrade them all. We can't actually recruit Triarii anymore, uh, which I find is, is quite interesting. I don't know why Triarii would go to veteran legionaries, which are a sword unit. But nevertheless, we've got six full stacks here. We're going to be pushing on Syracuse, and we have our two ships here. We also have another fleet. We're making a quite significant amount of money, and we have it in the pot. There's one cons uh, one cr criticism that I have about this mod, and it's just the Force March. Like, where is it? Like, I guess it slows down gameplay and time, but I had all my legions up in Britannia, and it took me so fucking long to move everyone down south. So we have my six uh, units here. We have one legion in the north, as you see there, they're not, they're suffering for attrition. I had it in Ildon, just trying to keep the public order in check. And if there's ever, 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 ever a rebellion, I'm gonna keep it at Camelodunum. Uh, wait, Camelodunum, yeah, it's not Camelundon. Um, obviously, I get confused. I, <laughs> I get confused with Total War Attila. And before this campaign, I hadn't played Rome 2 in, in quite a cons uh, significant amount of time. So we've got one legion there protecting northern France and whatnot. Now, over in the east. God, this snow is just it's an absolute blizzard. We have three legions uh, as well. Whether or not, depending on how the war goes with Syracuse, we might actually push against the Lugii. We are losing 730 per turn. Also, um, something to take note, we have a slight chance of a civil war. Now, that's because a fair few of my generals in my house have high influence. Everyone else really does in junior, 148, 200. But the sad thing is, and the dilemma, if it gets higher, we're going to have to kill some of my generals. Now, obviously that's what it is, as you read here. This indicates the likelihood of a, of a, wait, of a civil war breaking out. The higher the influence of the ruling political party, which is me, Julia, the higher the chance civil war becomes. So obviously, uh, Gannicus here, well, it will be Decimus who will be contesting Gannicus's rule. He does nearly have a thousand sway in the Senate. We hold 61% of the vote. But we really, really need to keep out for that. Keep a, an eye on that. So let's have a look at the strategical overview. Let's have a look how the world's going. So we've got most of Germania, modern day France, Germany, Denmark, uh, Belgium. Netherlands, obviously the United Kingdom. Over in the east, we've got the Lugii as well. Athens are pushing quite up in the Crimeans, uh, the Crimeas, sorry, in the Crimeas, the Crimeans are going back and forth with Royal Scythia. Down in Ath, uh, down in Greece itself, the Tillis have actually taken Sparta, and Larissa Sparta has been pushed back to Illyria. The Ard, I, I. I A I I I I E I R D I I don't even know how you say that. Ard. So I A is I E. I D A E. That's so retarded. Uh, our media's decent uh, settlement. Egypt's been pushing up as well. Now this has been a just a huge conflict zone. It's been obviously Syracuse were dominating it, or Carthage originally. My mistake. Then Syracuse, then the Massalii, and then it's gone back and forth a fair few times. So the Gatulii occupy Carthage. Carthage is taken back Thapas and Io. But Syracuse occupy 
obviously Syracuse. Hopefully we can take the entire region of Magna Croatia. They do have some ter territories down in Africa. Iberia is sort of shaped up a little bit than what it was instead of just Iberian tribes trying to fight it out. Uh, it's the Canterbury occupy three territories, same with the Lusitani, and Carthage still occupies at least half of southern Iberia. But apart from that, there's not really much else to recap. We still have defensive alliances with the Arvani and Sparta. Obviously, we made them before my empire was this big, and we're in a very decent position at this point, other than maybe Carthage, if we go to war with them, or, or Egypt. I don't think there's going to be anyone to stand up against us. We're in a very, very favourable position. <laughs> the Marco Mani are bang smack in the middle of my empire, whether or not they... Well... Oh, okay. Minus 15, minus 10. That's simply because of the... Uh, what is it? Uh, the, 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 that liberation bonus is gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to declare war on Carthage. Listen, we're going to break our treaty. And now we're going to cross the border and Your attack them. I'm going to call my allies. I was nearly hoping for a break. <laughs> Maybe the Marco Mani or the Massilia don't join me so I can attack them. Because obviously I did that earlier on in the campaign. So... So that we like... Obviously, we weren't fighting... Too many people on too many fronts. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to Lily Bayum this turn, we'll see. But we'll get Legion 1 to start besieging Syracuse. Oh, wow. Look how much we outnumber them already without even having... Well, another army in the field. I want to bring in some more just to help with the... The bonus. But we're going to be push over, pushing over the border now. I did have these armies with that stance, but I stopped it that turn. So, we'll take Syracuse there, outnumber them quite significantly. It's a garrison. I wouldn't expect anything less coming up against veteran legionaries and uh, Batavian, Batavian, uh, what are they? Heavy auxiliaries. <laughs> but maybe now we're starting to push into Punic, Hellenistic, even like Egyptian sort of culture, we might be able to get some... Well, obviously, when you recruit a barracks in a specific settlement, you get the, the bonuses. Well, you can get a... What is it? Fucking... Units influence from that faction. So, uh, we're going to go with... Fishmongering. To improve. Does that decrease the public order? Yeah, I don't particularly want that. So, we'll downgrade it, then we'll make it a fishing. We'll get rid of this as well. And we'll get rid of that as well. I need to downgrade that. But, we're looking good, I think. So we'll continue to push. That's hopefully there's a decent army at Lily Bay, or otherwise we're going to be pushing against Syracuse with a little bit of ease. I'll try to get a battle, but the thing is, when we just outnumber them so much, it's nearly not a point. But, I hope you guys... Well, I don't know. Do you guys watch my videos for the gameplay? Or the commentary. I don't know. But uh, regardless, if you guys are enjoying this Divide It Impera Rome campaign, I would appreciate a like if you want to. You guys are going to do whatever you want anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't really bother me, but if you would, it would help me out. Right. Um, the Catulli are offering me while well, they're demanding. The thing is, I am, I am interested in a military alliance for some money, because then they technically go to my victory conditions. But I don't think it's going to be viable. I don't think those factions are sort of going to like bend the knee. Roads, I'm not interested. Ah, uh, okay. So that's my attrition. Low civil war chance, has that gone up? No, it seems still quite low. But it looks like in actual... Is this the region of Africa? Yeah. So in the region of Africa, maybe Syracuse has some bigger armies. But it looks like at the moment we're in a very sort of decent place. Now, I'm going to send one unit to cross the border. We'll send Legion 3 over. I'll probably keep Legion 2. Oh, wow. Are you serious? No armies there. We've caught them on the, the back foot quite well. I'm going to put Legion 1 in this fleet, okay? And then we're going to sail over and go to Af Africa as quickly as possible. We'll leave... 
I'm just, oh, we're gonna have to bring everyone over anyway, I think. Okay, let's go with food. I think that's probably more essential. We'll go with that, and we'll upgrade that. Do we need another military base down in the south? No, Rome's pretty close by. However, food, because we are currently, well, technology-wise, we've done all the management. Siege, not too bad. We're going into some civil now, and we're actually getting the ability to uh, finally upgrade some of our towns. Now, because of that, we need food, so I want to try to get as much of it as possible. So let's continue. We'll do a save. And to Africa. Okay, we got some leveling up here. Let's continue. What do we got? Legion. Okay, my Northern Legion. Well, depending on how sort of the first couple of battles go, we'll see if we can push into the Lugii. We are losing a lot of money per turn. That is simply because we've got just so much bloody money in the bank. What is it, 62,000 or something ridiculous? It's just because over the last couple of turns, we haven't really, well, I haven't needed to build anything so I've just been accumulating so much money and now that I've basically gone with like a full-on recruitment huh their demand 7200 they'll become my client state that's a very interesting offer because they know they know they're going to lose however I'm probably going to attack Carthage so I do want that entire province. So no, I don't think so. And there's already a certain number of enemies. Let's have a quick sip of water, guys. My apologies. Ah. Okay, what are we working with? Ah, uh, nice, nice, nice. Just to... You gotta keep your, I don't know, throat. I don't know. You need to have water, or otherwise your throat gets too sore. I can't afford to lose my voice. As well, I'm basically a full-time YouTuber now. Right? Okay. Uh, I need to stop saying right. Let's get rid of Lily Bayum. Perfect. Occupy, and we've finally taken the entirety of Italy. My god, if you said at the start that it would take me until I took the entirety of the UK before I took Sicily, I'd be laughing. It's very interesting how this campaign has expanded. Obviously, we didn't really go the traditional route. I wanted to push, obviously, west, and then obviously you take France, and then you push over to Britain, but we sort of just went like we went north, and then we went east and then up into Denmark and then pushed all the way but I'm um, quite happy because it, it makes it unique um, let me know if you've had a Roman campaign go like this maybe there isn't maybe there is someone on YouTube maybe I'm just being weird but I think it was seemed it was it seemed really unique to me I'm not entirely sure okay let's get these guys to ready to push back over now, from what I can remember, there's some decent crossbow units here. Yes, crossbow infantry. Um, I read a comment, I honestly can't remember if it was one on... I, I read somewhere that these crossbow infantry are some of the most overpowered in the game. 200 range. Holy fuck. And you only can recruit them in uh, the island of Sicily. So maybe they're better to look work to like look into. I, th I do believe they're the only crossbow units you can get in Divided Impera. So, yeah, I can't remember. If, if it was you, let me know in the comments. I'll do apologize and I'll, I'll remember to give you. Alright, regardless, let's continue. Oh, okay. Sigh. Ah, oh, fuck. They have taken... Cyrene have taken that settlement. But it looks like... We might have a decent battle on our hands. Mercenary Namidian archers. Looks like Carthage and the Getulii are posturing on the border. 
But I think, wow, Syracuse were, like, dominant. It was pretty interesting to see how they went through this campaign. They they started off with Syracuse. They did quite well. They pushed Carthage back quite significantly. But now we've just sort of, like, caught them at a bad time, haven't we? Oh, uh, holy shit. That's awesome. C completely control 10 provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states. 24,000, that's just real. Th oh my fucking god. Subjugate 20 factions by making them your client state. Oh, just the amount of just money we're getting now is insane. It's not like we need it. However, we do have a popular surplus. Uh, I think... Wow, how is Celtic still, like, the dominant region here? Has it just gone up? Huh. That's surprising. And they're still really happy like that. Well, it's understandable with... Flavum, I guess. Did I say Flavum? Where the hell's Flavum? Oh, Flavum's over here. I was like... <laughs> it's, uh, Loop Ferdum. Loop of Ferdum. Alright, uh, what was I going to build? Yeah, industry, fuck it, we, we can get more money. We have another fleet here now, two more turns before we can use you. And we've got wheat here as well. Uh, we'll go with food. Uh, cattle's probably the best. I like the one fish down so you don't get the squalor problems. Okay, how far away are we from... Invading. Well, it looks like they've fucked off somewhere. They've... Why have they... They've pushed into the desert. Maybe to attack the Gamantians or something? Gamantians? Ah, uh, Lego 2, that is. So this is Lego 1. I want to try and disembark first. I don't really want to go for, like, an amphibious attack. But maybe I should have seen they've pushed back. To be honest, I want to have a decent battle. It's just... I feel like we haven't had one in quite a significant amount of time. Uh, Lego 3. I might just get them off the island. Whether or not we need them here or not. But we're going to need to assess where we need to expand next. Um, okay, that's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that mean Carthage is taking the settlement? Because they're attacking. We're going to decline the attack and hope they lose. I think they did. <laughs> uh, we don't have any treaties with Carthage. I think we have a non-aggression pact or something. But apart from that. Uh, classic scumbag Simpsy. However. Sirene's pushed up again. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. We're going to decline the attack and hope they lose. Between friends, what do Rhodes want? They did. Did they? Are these are these people just like fucking idiots? Or they just think that I'm going to help them? <laughs> well, after that development, I think we should not even bother about the amphibious landing. Ah, uh, sorry. The, uh, the landing, we should go for an amphibious assault. God damn it. Another clear order resolve. There's only like one unit in there. It's just a shame. Could subjugate, but I want the territory. And seeing as everyone fucking hates them, I don't really want to particularly subjugate them, to be honest. I'll get rid of that. Could use that. Right, we're going to disembark on our newly conquered land. If we can. And now... Oh, whatever wants to bloody get on the land. Punic uh, culture is pro quite prominent here, of course. But we haven't finished off... Syracuse entirely, have we? I'm imagining... Oh, have we? Where is Syracuse? To the border of Cyrene. 
They actually like me. Shame, I might be going to war with them. Where's Syracuse? Oh, there. They're in their border, they can deal with them. I'm sure with like the rapid decline, there's not much they can do. I'm going to send my army over here and we'll send one fleet back. Oh no, we've got a fleet up in Napoli, don't we? We can send them to just basically stand in there. Right, did I leave my... No, I was going to say, did you leave my champions in there? But no, it seems pretty well alright. How is... Should we start the assault? Because, at the moment, let's have a look at our victory conditions. We need to take, well, 90 settlements. We currently control 42. We need to take this region, okay. We either need, yeah, the thing is we need to probably betray, I think, like, for those, like, sort of specific sort of things, we might have just to betray them later on. Uh, so, get everything except for, like, those last two. Our media as well. They want me to take this settlement of our media. Okay. Africa, we don't have. But only 100... They, they expected me to do 180 regions. 180 units with those victory conditions. Really? 60. Completely control the following six problems, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. We currently occupy that. What's economical victory? Yeah, a little bit harder, same with sort of culture. But, um, 21 minutes, so I'm trying to think. Well, we've still got a little bit of time. I just want to actually see now, let's actually plan out where we can expand. So, okay, so it looks like Carthage actually own Gamantia. Uh, Cyrenica. Cyrenica? Cyrene is them. That's where they that's where they originated from. They could be a possible target close by. Thing is about the Catullians, they are if I'm pretty sure diplomacy wise. Yeah, defensive allies. However, they're not. What what treaties do we have with them? Non aggressional pact. That's not good. Why do they like me so much? War with Syracuse. Yeah, they could be a possible target. Obviously, pushing into the desert like that could be dangerous. But I think we probably could do it. We'll take that other territory before we even push. Where's this other territory? Pretty far. Uh, there, okay. Oh, it's near that little uh, oasis sort of thing. Maybe we're better off like negotiating with... Egypt. Egypt liked me a lot. Maybe there's some other factions I can get some trade rights with. Chimeria or something. Yeah, I don't mind trading with them. For the sake of friendship Hi. Maybe I can get a payment out of it. Their economies. Now, let us seek Weak. So they may or may not. Oh, they accepted. Huh. I accept. Even though we don't particularly need money at this point in time, we just want to weaken their economy more than anything. Let's talk to Egypt. Maybe they want like a military alliance or something. Low. What's like the offer if I could even offer you like all my money? Moderate. What would it be? Moderate. Huh. That means obviously they would be all become under my region. What, is, what does Carthage think of it? Because then technically it obviously goes to my victory conditions. I won't have to conquer those lands. Moderate. We don't have that much for both of them though. Carthage is 48%. Egypt is 40%. Maybe I should look through this because then we could get a significant chunk. And, oh well. Or maybe I'm a bit off going to war. Or, or at this point, I, I, I feel quite confident that we've won the campaign. I am in a very, very good position. I did incredibly well. It got pretty... It could have gone neck and neck. But we'll just have to see. However, I do need to push over to our media as well. 
Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I do apologize that over the last couple of episodes there hasn't been much battles, but... Like, what can I do? <laughs> we got dealt. Um, I really wanted to show pushing again. The thing is, like, I want to show what happens on the campaign map. We obviously don't want it to happen too often. Got some fantastic units now. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments. Would you like me to do another Divided Impera campaign? Really enjoying this. Rome is definitely the most fleshed out faction. Um, probably arguably too easy. But, well, I don't know. I think I was exceptionally lucky not to be attacked on multiple fronts, having Carthage push up through the south, and Syracuse could have been quite bad, but, yeah, we did well. We've done very well with our alliances and stuff, so. Um, regardless, I'm going to end the video here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram if you want to stay connected with me or my social media links are in the description below. If you want to play Divide et Impera and its sub mods along with me, you're most welcome to go download the mod. All the links are in the description below. My name is Simsy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.